How are you doing today? Got my pot belly going. And trust me, here in Flint, Michigan, look at that, it's cold. <laughs> Ice in my little steam pot right here. Floor. No. But what I want to show you today is what I picked up from the tractor show last September. And that's what I do. I work on small engines. And uh, went to the tractor show and got some lawnmowers and weed whackers and I said a couple edgers. This one's a 3.5 edger Bullens with a Tecumseh mortar. We're going to try to get this running. <coughs> and I paid, I paid a hundred, no, well, yeah, yeah, it took about. 200 with me, but I paid ten dollars a piece for two edges, 20 bucks. And I'm the guy that will actually buy uh lawnmowers in the dead of winter, you know, because I know I'll have time to fix it. My work only gets me three days a week. Um got all the heat in the world right here oh uh, I get free wood I never had to pay for wood never and that's just some of it right there in that cubby hole um and if you come out here I got all goes along there. I got about 30 feet on the fence going. But I mean, I never paid for firewood. I mean, I'm always picking it up, people dropping it off. Or, Hang up a tree. Hey, man, you want net? Need some wood? Here's my address. You know, I go over there and usually cut up in logs, and or I'll even help them cut it. I'll take my chainsaw and help them cut it. So, oh, man. So, I never had to pay for it. And thank God I got some people that they'll... That knows I burn wood, so, or I'll look up at uh, uh, Facebook Marketplace. That's a good place to find some free firewood, um, especially when you don't know where none is or a wood lot. Maybe you don't have one. Well, they're like, yeah, I cut up the tree. It was older, it was dead, or it fell over in a windstorm. Go over there a little time. He helps you, you help him. So, they uh, no longer make the com Tecumseys on anything that I've seen. It's always these, this um, something made in Japan or Chinese. I'm not saying they can't make a good mortar because Honda is one of the best. But you just don't see these. I, I mean, there have been, you know, collector's items and, and all that right now, you know, because of, uh, hell, you don't even see a Briggs and Stratton on anything nowadays. And it, it's hard to 
comprehend why, like, you know, well, where did my childhood go? You know what I mean? When everything was the Cumsey or Briggs or Kohler, you know, or sometimes Clinton, but they, they were uh, merged with Tecumseh because everything from Clinton will fit Tecumseh, everything from Tecumseh will fit Clinton. So, you know, I, I just thought, would like, like to know, you know, you know if I can't get this thing running. It did pull over, but it's been saying outside, this cable, I did oil it. I don't want to put too much strain onto it. You know what I mean? I don't want to break it. But I wanted to clean the carburetor. And um, as far as oil, a new uh, filter. Filter, just just turn it and it all comes. Oh, my God. Look at that. Oh, that's junk. That's garbage. So let's put that garbage can right on top of the hood of my Chevette. It, this is what cost you the most. You got right, right, fly, fly, place. Any part on, you know, just come see what, you know, good motors. You know, maybe too good. You know, you just still buy parts on that port. But, um, I, I just want to show you, you know, my uh, $10 fine. And if I can get run in hell, that is a late spring, early summer, I can easily sell for 60 bucks. You know what I mean? Just finding it early and flipping it or train it for something, some cash or you never know what, what, what people want to trade you. I mean, <clears throat> you know, I've had some stupid, stupid offers. Um, I'll trade a weed killer for, for a chainsaw. Why would I want that? Or I'll trade you a, what was it? Half inch snap on, um, uh, that thing where, where, where you, you want an, enough torque, torque bar. You want to trade me for my chainsaw. I am not a uh, mechanic. This car right here, I, I know minimum of it. And it's a 78 Chevette. You know, I got to pay a mechanic myself to work on this. So... This is what I do. I, I do small engines. Um, that one, a friend died. He wanted me to work on it. Uh, he needed a prime ball. His wife said, keep it. You know, that one right there, that home light, that was uh, customers. I got that running. They never showed up. Hell, that, that was May of last year. So that's mine. You know, um, working on, I don't mind working on stuff. I mean, I, I got 30 some years experience and, uh, you know, I don't mind working on someone else's stuff, but God, you know, I, it ain't like I'm ripping them off. It ain't like, you know, I'm, uh, telling them, okay, that's 40 hours just to look at it, just like the shop does. And whatever labor is or parts i don't do that i don't rape someone across the the coals to just put more bread in my pocket you know i think i told him like 20 bucks or 25 dollars that was all an entire carburetor that i had to order hell the damn carburetor was almost 20 dollars so what what six bucks on labor by putting it on you know well, well I could easily charge them you know 40 50 bucks you know but you never came came and got it law states what 30 60 90 days I know 90 days if it's not uh 
picked up or whatever, it's considered a bandit odd. You got papers that, that say that. You got 90 days and don't pick it up in 90 days. Guess what? Your shit's mine. I'm waiting for, for a uh, cover part for this. It's an old Brennan Strata strain, probably in the 1960s. That, I had to put out a brand new carburetor. That's it. Another thing I, I found um, from the tractor show, uh, I think I paid 20 bucks for that Toro right there at Runs. Fantastic. Runs, throw, throw snow, everything. So, you know, I, I am pretty pleased on that purchase. Uh, this stove... I bought in a rainy day and uh, I looked up on, online. They wanted four or five hundred, a thousand even for one of these stoves. And hell, I can't afford that. You know, you know, I'm a dishwasher. So, you know, I, I was looking up Facebook one time and it just popped out. And the guy got a hundred dollars, brand new, never used. Where do you live? Told me the address. He lived two minutes away. Two minutes. And uh, I'm glad that I found this. And it warms this garage up nicely. Wish I had a little blower, but I, I just, the blower I had in that, that just was not going to work on it. So, whatever. You know. Um. Well, <laughs> I, I I thank you for listening to uh, my story and and all that. Oh yeah, there's still mall right here. I paid sixty bucks for that mall, and they did fix the handle. Okay, what happened was um the handle. I did four logs, okay? It cracked all the way from here to here. They replaced the handle. But my brother allowed me to, to uh, this is why I didn't have a uh, electric log splitter. Got it right there. But he allowed me to borrow that. And that's Japan with a fiberglass handle. And that damn thing I've had for, I guarantee, 18 years. He's never asked for it back. So, you know, that's a uh, story about that. And uh, I do, do appreciate you, uh, listening and, and all that uh like thumbs down uh leave a comment please and tell me what what you think or i got many other videos going on i've just been busy at the at the moment so i would uh, pr appreciate some feedback and thank you for your time peace